So what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and today we're going to cover the iPhone 5, the classic boy, the vintage boy, the old school, let's get an antique plate for our iPhone 5 boy. You know what I'm talking about, antique cars. I'm making a little reference to antique cars. This is an antique right here, getting a little bit of cobwebs, but that's besides the point. iOS 10.2 has been released for the iPhone 5, and you might be asking, Nick, why are you covering iOS 10.2 on this old iPhone 5? And there's a good reason behind that. So this little iPhone 5 right here, I did a video, should you buy an iPhone 5 in 2016? That video received 105,000 views. Can you guys see that? 105,000 views. I'll leave the link to that video down below in the description area or up in a card. Now the iPhone 5, also I did iOS 10.1.1, the previous software to this video, and that received 41,000 views. So. What does that tell you? That tells you that there is an audience of people still watching iPhone 5 videos, meaning that they still use an iPhone 5. This might be an old backup phone or whatever, but let's see how it performs in this video. Let's check it out right now. Let's go. So here is the iPhone 5. How can you tell it's an iPhone 5? The single LED flash on the rear as well as that home button without the finger scanner. So let's go ahead and go in and show you that I am on iOS 10.1.1 14B100 with 8.18 gigs available before the update. You can see checking for an update, iOS 10.2 is now available for Apple for download for your older iPhone 5. The TV feature comes, the emoji features, the photos features messages mail music news there is so much to cover with an ios 10.2 that we couldn't possibly cover everything in a short video like this but you can go ahead and pause the video at these sections and read if you would like to know more okay so let's get in there and let's go ahead and up this baby up update this baby so let's go ahead and install it was about 320 me 20 megabytes to download and you can see iphone 5 has been updated to ios 10.2 it is now on my device. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that we did save about 300 megabytes. You can see 8.42 gigabytes now available. So it did up my storage 14C92 10.2. So what is included? So the first thing out the bat you're going to notice is the TV app. They got rid of the video app for the iPhone. And now you do have the TV app, which I do like because it's more modern it has more features and it just replaces that old clunky video app you can see right here the store does now have basically you basically have like an apple tv in your pocket which is pretty nice stuff if you go ahead and ask me so this is going to be updated this is really a brand new feature as the time goes on it will get more improved here for the iphone 5 scrolling through you can see that the general ui the general navigation ios 10 is ios 10 not much visual change is going on here for ios 10.2 but what you will notice is there is plenty of new emojis and these are actually quite noticeable they updated plenty of them you can see the clown icon right there are you a clown because i'm a clown sometimes nah but anyway you can see there's so many more i'm not going to find every single one here but if you're an emoji queen or emoji king you're gonna know you're gonna know things have changed around these parts now in terms of the keyboard there is a whole iMessage feature that was included the love effects now so if you go ahead and in within iMessage if you go into the screen effects let's go up there to screen you can see that there is now a love effect they had the confetti as well as the balloons but now you can send to love so for all you dudes out there trying to send it out to the ladies or all the ladies out there trying to send it out to the dudes you've got the love effects going on now in iMessage making iMessage even better here so in terms of this bug fix here there was a bug where the iPhone would like not show the keyboard in iMessage and Apple went ahead and fixed that as well in terms of the music application there is also now playing within you know you could swipe up and repeat shuffling up next right from the now playing section so you can see right there let me go ahead and show you shuffle and repeat so shuffle and repeat now appears right here this should have been there already but it is now included and i'll accept that if you ask me now there is also improvements made to the news application on your iphone 5 subscriptions are now going into your saved feed there is many things that are improved within the news section so if you love reading news on your iphone 5 you're going to really enjoy this here there was also some key accessibility improvements, including Braille 14 support to voiceover, fixes an issue where voiceover users cannot re 
list items and lists and fixes an issue where switch control was sometimes unable to delete voicemails. Now let's take a quick look at performance on the iPhone 5 for iOS 10.2. You can see we're doing the speed test right here, calendar, calculator, and let's go into camera. And you can see that the system based applications do perform quite well. We are now in the app store and that took a little bit longer than expected, but going into phone, that wasn't bad. Let's go into settings and let's come out and made a little mistake there. Let's go into photo applications here. So system apps are just fine here. YouTube, now we're getting into the more third party based applications for your iPhone 5 and you can see that took quite a while. Let's check out Viber right here really quickly. And that looked a little bit slow there. Twitter, so how's Twitter doing? Okay, so we're just gonna have to get a cup of coffee because uh, it's taking quite long here for the Twitter application. So the iPhone 5 does not perform super quick in terms of third party apps, but it still gets the job done in the sense that it's not gonna like mess you up in terms of your everyday use. You're still gonna be able to use it. It's just kind of slow when it comes to third party applications, but system apps are just fine. So core apps would be great here for the iPhone 5. So the question is, should you update to iOS 10.2 for your iPhone 5? And I say, if you're already on 10, go ahead and update it. If you're on an older version like 9.3 or something like that, I would say if you want the features, sure, but you are gonna lose a little bit of performance in terms of speed, but it does include the TV app. If you enjoyed this, click the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel for more technology videos like this. This is Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.